Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your mid-February 2016 tarot reading. One of the messages that I was getting for you is um, I feel as if for a lot of you there are going to be a lot of good news on the financial front regarding some major long-standing issues, something that's weighing on your mind regarding like court settlements and things like that. Uh, something you've been waiting on I feel like is um, is culminating or is getting resolved and you're going to at least get some type of follow up on that situation okay when it concerns money finances court issues concerning money especially any type of news regarding money the other thing I'm getting here is that um, you are going to be able to achieve success okay so I feel that there is some issues in the home front so this can be you know relationship partners children things like that on the home front that um, that either you're getting communication from the other people there's something that you can't do on your own so ask somebody in your environment especially family members in your immediate circle to help you I feel like you're trying to do something on your own you're trying to manifest something and you have the skills to do it but it's just easier to get better results consult somebody ask somebody and um, have them help you with it I feel that it's going to go a long way so I feel that for a lot of you female Sagittarius okay if you're you're a female and you're dating a male if you're a female and you're dating a male so this is more like um, you know heterosexual relationships if you are female and you're dating a male and that male is married or he has some obligation elsewhere I feel like his relationship is coming to an end so if for example you're dating a male and he is engaged or married or he is um, you know going through some separation there is going to be some clear decision coming through alright if you are let me see if you are a female in a relationship with a relationship partner I feel that you might be juggling multiple people if you're dating if you're in a relationship and you know if things are stable then I definitely feel it is going to be a very very um, a lot of communication gifts being exchanged for this month possibly because of the Valentine's Day which is ongoing right now and um, things like that so let's just pull out the rest of the cards um, okay so going back to the females who are interested in a male or dating a male who is in a relationship and that relationship is coming to an end okay I feel that you don't care about the money a lot of Sagittarius don't really care about the money and um, I feel that your partner is dividing his assets and is, is not able to you know um, shower you with extravagant gifts and things like that so I just want you to know that and I also feel that um, it's not because they don't want to it's because they, they might not have the means to do it okay give them a few months to get back on their feet but I feel like their financial entanglement with their spouses or exes and things like that it needs to be laid to rest so it's going to take some time for them to extract themselves completely so I just want you to keep that in mind and don't be I feel like you, you don't really care about the money a lot of you um, you know you enter relationships for love for stability and you know just for because your heart wants the other person so money is very minor is secondary which is a great thing but I do feel that um, it's going to take your your the other person some time to get them back on their feet so let's talk about this situation so we do have once again the Hierophant in the past position so the Hierophant indicates some type of institution it indicates order it indicates stability okay and um, for a lot of you who are in marriage situation I feel that there is there is some shenanigans happening in the marriage situation so either two people are not agreeing on how they are able to handle finances one person being too extravagant with money 
and the other person, you know, wanting to to invest in different things, wanting to if you have like joint finances as a couple or in a if you're in a long standing committed relationship, there might be mishaps about how you both want to spend your money, how you want to pool your resources. So there's some issues regarding money I feel in this spread. At the same time, I feel that I feel like the the women if you're, you know, regardless of whatever gender, I, whatever gender you date, I feel like a lot of the, this month, it's the women that are shouldering the relationship. So your partner might not be making enough money. You're, if you're in a committed relationship, there might be some issues about your partner coming on to hard times, not being able to pull their weight in a relationship. You are the one that has to step up, that has to take care of the household, that has to, you know, budget and, you know, try to, you're, you're dipping into the, your savings, you're in the red, and it's because your partner is hitting some hard times. Either that or they're being very extravagant with the money. I do feel money, finances, is going to be somewhat of a deal breaker for a lot of relationships. Not because you care about money, but mainly because you want things to be balanced, to be even, to be fair. And I feel that a lot of you are approaching relationships more from the practical standpoint and you don't want to be in a situation where either you and your children your your livelihoods are being jeopardized as a result of somebody's you know uh, indiscretion when it comes to spending so I feel like there is somebody who is very very extravagant in your environment and you know they're very intelligent very capable but for some reason they might not be able to find good jobs on the job market I don't know why or they're just really bad with handling resources, okay? So something like that is happening in your environment, and I feel like it is coloring the way you are approaching a relationship, okay? And I feel like the women greatly are stepping up in the relationship, trying to keep everything afloat, trying to, you know, put their foot down. And Sagittarius women are great at that. So I feel like a lot of you are are doing that in your relationships where if your man has, you know, hit some some rough spot when it comes to his financial um his financial flow, you are stepping up to take control of a situation. A lot of you are just stepping up in general, putting your foot down and telling people what you will not tolerate. So I do feel that a lot of you are, you know, even though it's difficult, even though it's um even though it's not something that you want to do because you want to let other people arrive at situations and resolve things on their own, this time you're not going to have that much patience because I feel like you were sh shouldering the weight of the relationship for quite some time and you've had it. So I feel like some finality, you know, putting your foot down, uh, telling it as it is and possibly breaking relationships off completely because you've had it so this is going to play out for a lot of um, differently for peop different people but I do feel that for a lot of you there might be an air sign in your mist okay and we do have the knight of swords here knight of swords here is an energy that is very very fast moving combative an energy that is very very decisive so this is something that you can bring to the table or another person is bringing to the table um, when it's an air sign, is it usually Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra? But I do feel because it's showing up in the uh, at the center of the reading, this is somebody that can be potentially a great source of inspiration for you. They also have a habit of rushing in too fast. They might be a little bit abrasive, or they might have a lot of projects and they don't really follow through. And what's crossing it here is the success card, and the success card crossing this. Knight of Swords is usually somebody with a lot of plans, a lot of ideas. They might talk big, but they don't really have um, concrete evidence of success in the real world, okay? So, ladies, if you are out dating, um, you know, men, you are going to encounter people that talk big, but they don't really have anything to prove. So you want to be very careful, okay? Um, I don't feel it's an air sign energy. I just feel like it's an energy because we have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. And both of these cards tell me that, you know, you have people that are, they're all talk. When it comes to following through, they're lacking or they're going to disappoint you. And they make plans, they don't follow through. Or they have, you know, like attention problems where they're not 
fully committed to one person either. So you, you are dealing with somebody who is quite potentially manipulative or even, you know, who, who says the right things to get exactly what it is that they want from you and then they don't call you the next day. So be very careful when you're out in dating for this month, okay? What I'm also sensing as the foundation here is we do have the two of coins. The two of coins potentially is juggling two people. We do have an air sign as well as the water sign. So water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So a lot of you might be juggling two people, men or women. It, it doesn't. I, I don't feel it's gender specific. I feel that a lot of you Sagittarius women are juggling two people, and I feel that towards the end of the month you are going to finalize on one option okay and I know it's a difficult decision a lot of you, a lot of you might end up with um, you're letting one of them go so I feel that a lot of you might end up with the water sign I'm sensing a lot of you might end up with the water sign I don't know why but I feel that even though you're you would be compatible with the air sign but I feel like you're going to end up with the water sign because you want somebody who's a little bit more nurturing okay I feel that the air sign is actually going to work out well for you because it's showing up in the upright position whereas the water sign is reverse like the cards came out like this but for some reason you have a strong affinity with the water sign so you might go with the water sign but regardless of who you choose I do feel that for you it seems like the right choice so that's all it that matters as long as it seems like the right choice to you go with it and you know just um, work things out and whatever problems you encounter in the future you will work it out so I feel like there's a juggling energy juggling two jobs juggling your finances a lot of you like I mentioned are shouldering the weight of re the relationship so if you're dating other people you're you know you could potentially be the sole breadwinner in the family or you're shouldering the, the responsibilities of um, just taking care of other people around you family situations um, the whole family unit might have landed some hard on some hard times and you're potentially juggling two jobs in order to survive by the end of the month you are going to have to narrow down your options though because I feel like um, it's draining you on energetically it's really draining and I don't feel that you can sustain this type of lifestyle okay in terms of the advice here we do have the five of, of pentacles and this is a card greatly about uh, financial difficulties so it was the energy permeating throughout the reading. So that's why I felt like it was very, very finance focused. You are going to overcome this. I just want you to know that, okay? It's going to take some time, and I don't feel it's going to be as long a time as you initially thought. You're probably thinking to yourself, when is this financial situation going to uplift? And we have some very favorable cards that indicate to me Possibly in a period of three weeks, three months, and even, you know, something sooner. Well, three weeks, three months. Three months is a little bit more realistic. So I do feel it is going to lift, okay? So around the May time frame, yeah, the May time period, three months. External to your environment is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a wish card. It is having a lot of opportunities, a lot of abundance. This is also a lot of protection, okay? Those... I don't know what they are, but um, they're little birds. They're, they look very robotic. So <clears throat> she has some type of protection, divine protection happening around her. And I feel that for a lot of you Sagittarius, you have a very good heart. And I feel that, you know, with the Saturn in your um, transiting your sun sign right now, you are going to encounter a lot of responsible people, new people especially. They are going to be very responsible. They are going to be great mentors to you. And I feel that if you need help, you have to reach out, okay? Because pe new people especially are very willing to help you, but you, you really want to do it on your own. I feel like it's the same thing with the Five of Pentacles. It's kind of like being in a cave and feeling very, very alone and unwanted. But you can see all those lights are shining in and all she has to do is reach out. So I feel like 
external to your environment, you have a lot of people that want to help you out. If you are looking for opportunities for like investors, somebody to fund projects for you, if you're like a starving artist, God forbid, if you're like a starving artist and you're looking for some type of an angel investor coming through or a, a muse or a mentor to help you or even, you know, some type of an, whatever investment that you're looking for, I do feel that there is help coming through around you. And it is circulating around your environment. So no matter what, you are going to, to see this energy. A lot of you are going to get some very positive communication regarding finances, okay? And something that is going to allow you to totally transform this poverty mentality. It's going to turn around greatly for the better. In terms of your hopes and fears, we do have the Hermit. And the Hermit card is your spirit guide showing up in I feel like almost in a physical form a lot of you are praying and um, asking for guidance okay as to what you should do about a certain relationship a lot of you are thinking about a relationship that is heavily weighing you down I feel like it's a relationship with somebody it's a long-standing relationship it's weighing you down it's on its last leg and you're asking whether or not you should file for divorce and the answer, unfortunately, is yes, because it is weighing you down. And I feel like it's finance related because the other person is not able to hold up their end of the bargain. Additionally, there might be some juggling situation, juggling act with multiple people involved. And you're not going to have a choice here but to bite the bullet and file for that divorce. And your life is going to pick up from there, there okay? Because this is an ongoing situation and you can't do it any longer others of you you're praying for some guidance you might have two options and these are new options and you're asking you know what should i do and what should i do about this situation and i feel that the 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 answer that they're giving you is work on yourself and this relationship is going to take some time so that's the message i feel needs to be conveyed okay if you if there is um, if you're choosing between two people, um, just know that whoever you choose is going to work out, but it's going to take some time and it's going to require a lot of self-work, a lot of healing work on yourself, a lot of rebuilding your foundation, making you feel good about, you know, overcoming the, the poverty mentality in order to be a good relationship partner. Additionally, for the specific few who have their eyes on somebody, possibly an older person um, who is entangled in their own relationship, they're either married, separated, or something like that, their relationship is coming to an end. So if you're asking your spirit guide, the answer is it is going to be three months before you and the other person come together. Okay, that's what I'm sensing here. And uh, I'm saying that because I feel like... I feel like this. There is somebody who is incredibly, incredibly charming, attractive, and just, you know, uh, who has taken your breath away, okay? And you feel as if they're in a relationship. So you might have broken things off with them recently because they're in a relationship. And I feel like it's going to take them some time, possibly a period of three months, for this relationship to come together in the future, okay? But I feel like separation is going to happen them from their significant other or they're going to wrap up whatever loose ends they had to in order to come back to you in order to come to you approach you or come back to you so i do feel it is going to take some time so either way it looks very positive so the only thing here is that i, I do feel that for a lot of you you're at a junction regarding a major significant relationship that is finance related okay and I just want to say that whatever you decide to do, I feel that you're on the right track. You are showing up here as the empress, male or female. And the empress is she makes the hard decisions in order to, for, to, to secure the greater good, okay? And, you know, emperors and empresses, they rule empires. And they have to take into account the, the people. So that means children, property, you know, things like that. And sometimes you have to sacrifice one thing for the greater good. And it's, it's painful, yes, but it's necessary. It's a necessary evil. And I feel like with the Three of Swords, it indicates some type of an emotional pain, some type of separation. So a lot of you might have to sacrifice 
something in order for you to preserve something else, sacrificing one person to go ahead with another, or even sacrificing a, a very toxic relationship partner. They might not be bad people, or they could be quite manipulative. But what I'm sensing is that you've, you're coming to the point where you, you realize that this is the last straw. I have to protect myself. I have to preserve, maintain my my own sanity so I can't stay in this relationship anymore okay and what else is coming through for you in terms of the outcome is the eight of coins in the reverse and the eight of coins is a situation where we are working very very diligently in the reverse position working at a situation and not getting not building up anything of value not accumulating wealth as a result so I feel like a lot of you are just at this point very um, I feel like you're afraid about your nest egg in the future. You're afraid about your financial foundation as well. So you have to cut some losses in order for you to start over and rebuild your financial foundation. So I feel like a lot of it is linked up with another person, which indicates to me you might be in a committed relationship, okay? And I just want you to know that whatever you decide to do, it's going to pan out well because you are making a difficult decision, yes but you're going to be okay, you're going to be protected, okay? So do what you need to do to take care of yourself and to protect yourself. I feel greatly for a lot of you, um, you know with the Empress, it deals with fertility as well, okay? So be careful, protect yourself about against pregnancy if that's not something that you want. For those of you who are waiting on news about pregnancy, I do sense you are going to get some news and then there might be, you know, alternative like methods to get pregnant such as in vitro fertilization or even like hormone therapy that is going to be discussed in order for you to get pregnant, okay? So I feel like there might be either just be careful, protect yourself accordingly if you don't want to get pregnant because the Three of Swords with the Empress together, it might indicate, you know, like miscarriages and things like that or just other things but I, I just wanted you to protect yourself accordingly okay um, for those of you who are in committed relationships I feel like the relationship is hitting some major milestones uh, for better or for worse but some major milestones that might be irreversible in the um, in the, the next in the upcoming few months for those of you who are single and dating you are going to solidify some decision you're going to make some sacrifice sacrifices, excuse me, about who you want to be with, um, air sign or water signs, okay? I do feel you are going to end this month with a bang and you're going to be quite happy. So at least one wish is coming true here. Just be very careful about making, you know, the, the sacrifices. Don't feel bad about them. We all have to do them and it, it, it takes courage. It takes a lot of strength you're on the right path, okay, Sagittarius? I do feel that you are going to be very, very happy uh, with the new choices that you've made if you're choosing between two people. For those of you waiting on somebody for them to wrap up their life in order to come to you, it is going to work out really well for you. And I feel that, you know, three months is indicated here. So once again, May, something drastic major is going to happen in May that will help you recover your financial losses. And also to have somebody come back into your life when they're finally, finally ready to give you all, the, all of themselves, okay? I feel for a lot of you, it might be a water sign or uh, an air sign as well coming back in in May when they're finally, final, finally ready to deliver on the things that they promise. So I do wish you the best, Sagittarius. Um, if you like a private reading, please um, contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com or you can visit my website where you can book an appointment for yourself. I am booked out until, I believe, February 26th at this present moment. And um, I will be back for your March reading. My website is in the description box below as well. So I wish you all have had a wonderful Valentine's Day and you know take care of yourself. Enjoy your the rest of your February. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.